I'm gonna get higher, loosen my lips, faith and desire, and the swing of your hips just pull me down hard. I was told, like maybe a year ago, that you have the craziest fans ever. Not like psycho, but just really enthusiastic. Yeah, I have really rat. They're the folks that come to the shows are outrageously cool. Now that this single "Come On Get Higher" is getting a lot of radio airplay, and you you know it seems like uh, this song is going to be a really really big hit for you, right? Are you getting extra rabid fans? Like, no, or- I think it hasn't gotten to that. It's, it feels like it's just the like a. Uh, it's nice. It's like I, yeah. I feel like I've been. I feel like it's all really good. I, yeah. I don't think I've any anyone yet be like. I don't know what the word. I think country music fans mm. are the ones that like are you know remember the time that you played right the right track? like they think yeah. you're best friends yeah you like yeah, and and th- we have a good connection but I think that like you know in country music or you know where people say here's my kid you can raise it better than me you know <laughs> you know Faith Hill you know take my child or whatever happens that doesn't happen with me that no children have been given uh you know strange gifts. Strange, some, some strange yeah. gifts, some strange uh, things. Yeah, yeah. yeah, there's and you occasionally get the not occasionally, but you some you know you readily I regularly get <laughs> really nice things from people that you know it's fun. Yeah. I can't complain oh, until they start not. like no, 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 until they not. start like I don't know what they could do that would be bad. You know, like if it's a severed head or something. Yeah, severed, then, like, then you'll be like, like Whoa. a half-eaten mailman shows right, up. Right. Like, then you're like, Wait you a know, minute. like maybe this relationship has gone <laughs> right far enough. Yeah, just listen to the music and leave me alone <laughs> with your half-eaten mailman. Um, by the way, Matt Nathanson in the studio, Mix 104.9. Tonight, Mix After Work, actually later this afternoon. He's going to be performing live, so is Delta Goodrum. It's a free show, so uh, we're looking for you guys to come on down and hang out with us. Uh, one more question I have for you, and then I have a, a, a then we have a whole other round of questions. Oh, So you're just going to be here for a while. I love it. Um, <laughs> so, yes, get your chair. But if you're going to sit down, I'm going to have to maneuver the webcam. So you Oh, this happens all the time when we do these movies in my bedroom. <laughs> There we go. That's good. I like that. That works out. Yeah. All right, that's good. Good. All right. Uh, MySpace. Let me ask you about MySpace. I always ask artists about how um, how much they are actually involved in their MySpace. Are you actually involved in your? Or do you have people? I, I'm not. I, I have a, a a person who sort of deals with it on a day to day basis, and Facebook sure. as well. But uh-huh. um, but I always go yeah. go there. It's fun. Still do your own. Yeah, and it's fun to sort of like get feedback too. I. Uh, it's it, whenever you're feeling kind of low about yourself, MySpace can kind of help. <laughs> you know those moments where you're like, because these are people that usually if they're posting, they're psyched. You know what I mean? Sometimes right, right. they post and they're like, "You are the worst thing." Wow. Sometimes when my family burns <laughs> in a fire, that's what I think of when I think oh, of your yeah, terrible yeah. music. So uh, they, those are occasionally, but mostly yeah. it's all positive. So, I would yeah. think someone like you, who is a, an established established artist that is doing well, um, would get MySpace comments, and they would be good. Yeah, and you would be like, man, that makes me feel better, as opposed to someone like me. When I go on MySpace and I have no comments, I go, wait a second, give me your <sighs> MySpace address. That's 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 uh, you know, don't don't make crap. me pick a bone with you because I give it to me. I'll go the, send the mix, you nice. I something. sent a mix one hundred four point nine MySpace friend request and you have not responded to a fr- a friend request. Yeah, I have automatic friend request. It didn't work. Send it again. Man. I will. All right. What are you doing? Send me something. Send me a little something personal. Maybe I felt a little bit distant Maybe you from did. you. I'm sorry. Friend request. I think I, I think I know you well enough now that you could have now at least sent do. me something. All right. Maybe fine. a picture of your underpants. Well, we just swapped pants. I what know. What else do you need? I'd like to see those underpants All on right. my MySpace. Okay. Everybody should get ready for that then. Um, now we're going to turn the questions to uh, to uh, a friend of mine. His name is Gabe, and uh, he and I with we used to do a, a radio show together at another radio station in town. And uh, he has since retired from radio. No. But I will tell you this. He, I remember back then, like what, three, four years ago now? We were doing this morning show. Uh, more than that. Yeah, four years ago. And uh, he he was telling me about you, like that long ago. He was like, hey, hey. Matt Abenson, you should totally check out this guy. He's great. So when you were coming in for the show, I thought Gabe immediately should do something that we used to do on our show, which was five random questions. Yeah. And he's going to do that now. Dude. Are you ready? Yeah. Gabe, these are your glasses, right? (laughs) Yeah. And that your watch is great. I think everything you do is pretty fantastic. So I'm ready. Thank you. All right. So um, see, he's all nice. I don't want to hit him with hard questions right now. Hit me with hard questions. I just talked about All right. What I like in Boston to troubles. Well, what's awesome is my friend Kara's moving to Boston in like a week. No, Boston's great. Just if you grow up there, you want to run away. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Anyway, um, so November, we have an election. Who are you voting for, Paris Hilton or McCain? Start off with the big one. Please. I mean, like, I would literally rather vote for, uh, uh, I mean, I would rather run the country than McCain. Okay, all right. So, Paris Hilton. Yeah. Okay, all right. Wonderful. Good, hey, this is a good answer. Yeah. The Dark Knight. Everyone else in America has seen it. Have you? Oh, yeah. What do you think? It was 
it was unbelievable. Okay. No joke. And I went in there going after. I didn't want to like Heath Ledger. I didn't want to like that. Why? Because everybody's a lot. Because everybody's talking about how great he is. And it's like you just want to go in there and be like, this isn't going to be as good as everyone says. And it was literally better than everyone said. Like, and, and that rarely happens. I've seen it twice. Yeah, it's kind, it's, of, it's, kind of a dork. No, dude, I, j that scene where he's driving with his head out the cop car window, that scene oh, where the wind, a, it's, yeah. he's transcendent. That scene where he shows up at, to look for, uh, he, to look for Dent, Harvey Dent, and he's uh -huh. like, where's Harvey Dent? And he goes up to the senator, and he goes, that's an amazing, I mean, he was amazing. It, I enjoyed it. Yeah. Really. Have you seen it on IMAX? You have to see it on IMAX. Yeah, I saw it on IMAX. Okay, so I give me five right. for this. Woo! All right. So, uh, big TV show right now, So You Think You Dance? Do you, have you ever seen it? Is that the one where the famous people dance with no, the hot the people? Star, no, okay. Probably. All right, never um, mind. So You Think You Can Dance is when people get on. Um, the real dancers. Oh, they are. So I've seen, no I saw one, one episode. I saw one part of an episode, and I realized that I never in my life have dated a dancer, and that was made me sad. Yeah, because they're flexible. Yeah, they're Look unbelievable. Look into it. I don't it's know if you great. Have I have Lycra on underneath this, so I do. <laughs> I do. Th I, dance I throw shapes. Oh, wonderful. Yeah. Um, okay, what's your favorite drink, and will you buy me one tonight? I don't drink, but I will gladly buy you. Drink? No. Why? I'll buy you a virgin was, was mojito. It a, was it like a, <laughs> did you have a problem? Okay. You know what it on. is? So Sometimes we drink nail polish. <laughs> Sometimes <laughs> we drink drinks. So what's your favorite drink at Starbucks, then? I have to say, oh, this is my special drink. Sometimes they get confused by it, but it's called a, uh, it's called a Tisto. And what you do is you take two calm tea bags, and you put them in. There's only a little bit of hot water, but the rest of it is steamed soy milk. Wow. And so that chamomile dissipates in the soy milk. It is the bomb. You told me this guy was a hippie. Tisto. <laughs> totally. Right. And then I'm like, and then you sit in a tree. <laughs> in Berkeley, yeah. <laughs> Last question. Raiders or Niners tomorrow night? Oh, boy. The, I think the thing I know least about in the world is sports. Really? Yeah, like the least. So I would say if those are football or basketball teams, may the best team win. <laughs> uh, if they are uh, soccer teams, go, go Pele. And uh, I don't know them. I don't know. Them. Okay. I would say whoever. Oh, yeah, 49ers is yeah, what we're wearing a shirt. Oh, yeah, us. Yeah. Do it again. Uh -huh. so ask me the question right again. So 49ers or Raiders? 49ers. Right. I mean, of course. The